Hi, my name is Agent Davis, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a smart photo frame. A smart photo frame, like a traditional frame, is a great way to display your memories. However, with a smart photo frame, you can cycle through a series of pictures and videos to display, easily change the pictures that the smart photo frame will display, and if your smart photo frame supports it, you can even have friends and family send pictures right to the frame. I'll be using the NyxPlay Smart Photo Frame 10.1 inch display. This is an elegant frame that even comes with a remote and doesn't require a memory card to store pictures. You simply just upload your photos and videos through the NixPlay app. Speaking of the NixPlay app, I will be using the app on my Google Pixel 6. The steps may be a bit different on your phone. Now that we have everything, let's get started. First thing to do is to figure out if you want your frame to be in portrait or landscape. The NixPlay frame comes with an adjustable stand where the power cord plugs in that you can use to lock it into place. Another great thing about the NixPlay is it can automatically rotate pictures to the orientation that you choose for the frame. It can also use its Nix Smart Face Framing AI to ensure people in your picture are positioned near the center of the frame. Once you have the orientation set up, plug the power cord into the frame. Don't plug the other end of the power cord into an outlet just yet. We have a few other things to do first. On your phone, make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi network that you will want your frame to be connected to. Open the NixPlay app and select your preferred language. Next, choose if you want to sign up for a NixPlay account or log in with an existing account. I already have an account, so I'm going to tap on Login. Now we type in our email address or username to our account, then the password. Once those are typed in, tap on Sign In. We are at the Frames screen. This screen will show any frames that you have associated with your account. I don't have any frames in my account, so let's change that. Go ahead and plug the other end of the power cord into an available power outlet. The frame will power up and you will see the NixPlay logo. So far, so good. Pull the tab out of the remote to enable the battery. Point the remote at the two squares that are at the front of the frame and press the play button in the middle of the remote. Using the up, down, and play button, select the language that you would like the frame to use for the menus. The next play frame is going to start looking for the Wi-Fi networks. Once it's done, a list of available networks will appear. Choose the name of your wireless network, again using the up and down arrows on your remote and selecting with the play button. Now you will type in the password for your Wi-Fi network. Once it's typed in, select the connect option. The frame will start connecting to your Wi-Fi network. Once it's connected, it may need to download some updates. Let this process go through. There may be a reboot involved, and that's totally normal. Just make sure to leave the frame plugged in the entire time. After any updates are installed, you should be back at a screen that is asking you to get the app. We are almost done. Back in the NixPlay app, tap on the Add Frame option in the middle of the screen. The app will now search the wireless network for the frame that you added. Once the frame is found, the app will show the frame and the frame serial number. Make sure it's the same serial number that has now appeared on the screen of the NixPlay frame. If it matches, tap the Set up this frame option. The app will now pair your NixPlay frame to your account. Once it's paired, you will want to name your frame. You can type the room it will be in, or maybe the name of the person who the frame belongs to. I'm going to type Living Room Frame. Next, type the location of the frame. Maybe it's in your home, the office, or in your RV. I'm going to type home. Lastly, we will need to choose the time zone that the frame is in. Tap the down arrow and various options will be displayed. Tap the option that you would like and then tap continue. One of the great things about the Nix Play frame is it's Nix Sense Me. This is a sensor built into the frame that will wake the frame up anytime you come into the room. You can choose if you want to enable this option by tapping on try it. If you don't want to enable it, tap the Not Now option. You can always change your selection later. I'm going to tap on Try It. Now, I have to choose when I want the frame to go to sleep after it's been woken up. Tapping on the down arrow will give a lot of options. I'm going to choose the sleep after 30 minutes. Once you have made the selection, tap on Continue. Sleep schedules allow you to have the frame go to sleep at a specific time every day. If you have this enabled, note that the motion sensor will be disabled during this time. You can choose try it or not now. I'm going to choose the try it option. I don't need the frame to be on while I'm asleep. 
Since I chose the try it option, I can now set the sleep start time and the wake up time. Just tap on the squares and set the time options for both sleep and wake. The app uses military time, so 13 would be 1 p.m., 14 would be 2 p.m., and so on. I'm going to choose 10 p.m. for sleep, so that means I'll choose 22. And for the wake option, I will choose 8 a.m. Once the times have been set, tap on continue. Now that options have been configured for the frame, it's time to add some photos and videos. In the app, tap the plus sign and choose camera roll. There may be a prompt about allowing the Nixplay app to take pictures and record video. You can choose to only allow while using the app, only allow this time, or to not allow at all. I'm going to choose the while using the app option, but make sure you choose the one that you prefer. Another prompt may appear about allowing the Nixplay app to access photos and media on your phone. You can allow or not allow, it's completely your choice. Since I do want to be able to upload existing pictures, I'm going to choose allow. Pictures and video on your phone will now appear. Tap on the photos and videos you want to have available on your frame. There are some things to remember when selecting your photos and videos. With the standard account that's included with the Nixplay frame, you have 10 gigabytes of cloud storage for photos and videos, and the videos can only be 15 second clips. You can upgrade to the Nixplay Plus membership, and that will give you 50 gigabytes of cloud storage and up to 60 seconds for video clips. For now, I'm going to select these pictures and videos to send to my frame. Once everything is selected, tap on Done. The app will allow you to do some basic editing, like adding a caption or cropping and rotating. With the Nixplay Plus membership, you will have access to a lot more editing options. Make any edits you would like and tap the white arrow in the blue circle. This is going to get the pictures and videos ready. On the next screen, choose an existing playlist or create a new one. The playlist allows you to have a set group of pictures and videos, similar to a music playlist. You could have a playlist of family, friends, holidays, or whatever you want. I'm going to choose the My Playlist option and then tap Upload. Now the pictures are being sent to Nixplay to be accessed by the frame and playback will start. If you want to customize the frame a bit more, grab the remote and press the gear to bring up the menu and then select Settings. Now you have all sorts of options at your fingertips. You can change the time between pictures, show a clock on the screen, which will include the date and time, and even sign up for experimental features from Nixplay. Oh, and you know how remotes in the home seem to disappear? You don't have to worry about that with the Nixplay remote. The frame has built-in magnets, so you can conveniently keep the remote attached to the back of the frame. Genius! Before we go, I have one last tip for you. This Nixplay frame allows you to have friends and family send photos and videos to the frame. This is a great way to have new memories appear on your frame. To share your frame, tap on the Me icon in the lower right corner. Next, tap on the Friends option. On the Friends screen, tap on the Invite Friends option. Once you're at the New Friends screen, you can type in the email address or the Nixplay username of the person you would like to share your frame with. For any of the photos they send, you can select a playlist for the photos to go to, or you can choose not to have the photos go to a playlist. And look at that. New photos just appeared. How awesome is that? Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.